Welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you some recent purchases. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. My mum asked me if I wanted to go to Warrawong with her the other day, which is about an hour from here. And so we took a trip to Warrawong and then we also went to Shell Harbour. So these are from two cheap shops and I can't remember which ones are from what so they will just all go together oh well these ones say dollar king so there we go that's dollar king and I just thought that was really pretty and then there's this one from dollar king as well but I'm not sure I would have bought that if I'd have turned it over and just seen that that was just one side so let's have a look oh never mind that is beautiful I have no regrets now <laughs> We've got the gorgeous dragonfly in the corner. We have some more florals and another dragonfly and lots of text. So they are really pretty. Now I know she's only on one side, but she's a very pretty pinky purpley unicorn. So she had to come home with me. There were a couple of gorgeous watercolour florals and I had to behave myself and I just got one because it was so pretty and it's on both sides. So that's pretty cool. Then there are these scatters pretty hearts in pink silver and white the doves and then there's some more hearts down here but there's also lots of love words in the pink and silver and clear and this one has iridescent clear and white that one and that one were from Warawong and as with these we have just circles in the spidey colors and black and white spiders and lots of little Spider-Man. We've got little Spider-Man heads and Spider-Man in a pose. It looks like there's only two different ones. They were $3. I am denied about getting them, but Spidey. <laughs> that says it all. Then this was from W and this was $2.50 and it has lots and lots of big Paw Patrol stickers in it. So I thought they would be great for cards. They also had a Barbie one, but it was $5. So I just got the Paw Patrol one. Then Kmart has a new sticker book. This time it has a blue cover and we have a very light eggplant, light blue, a grey and this brownie tone. I'm not sure what colour that is, but that is the new sticker book from Kmart. It seems they come out with one every two to three months. Got the Tropical Crush alphabet stickers because I loved the rainbowish letters. Very pretty. I grabbed the Daydreamer washi and I thought I'd grab the sticker books, but I can't find them. I think I ended up putting it back. And the Tropical Crush Washi because they are both, both very cute and for $2 you get two metallics in each pack and two plain ones. Not fussed on that bottom one but the suns and the hibiscus. I really love the hibiscus. This one has a floral and the hearts in the metallic. Then I got the Tropical Crush sticker book. Because I have a lot of beachy themed papers I thought that would work well with some of them. And some of the reject shop ones they seem to have a lot of the same colours as those. They have the hollow silver foil by the looks of it. Then I grabbed the Tropical Crush die cuts. These were in my Audi and it had nearly nothing left. So that's why I could only grab the Tropical Crush when I actually decided to grab some. You snooze, you lose with Audi. And that is the die cuts and they have the silver hollow. I got my hands on some of the gold Taclon art brushes, the round ones. It two four six eight and twelve they skip ten all together which is the one i usually use but the twelve looks close to my size ten brushes anyway so i'll be interested to see how they work out while i was at dollar king as well metallic watercolor paints and they look like a mica based one so i wanted to try them out and see what they were like because they look absolutely stunning in the pans i don't know if you can see the sparkle so let's see if i can get it open i don't know if you can see that sparkle on there but they look really really pretty in person not a lot in the pans but for two dollars fifty can't complain and i'll try them out see what they're like next up is the reject shop if you didn't know they are clearing out a lot of last year's collections and they are two dollars at the moment for the paper pads and the die cuts so i grabbed a few extra of some of them and I also managed to finally snag the new paper pad that I'd been after. So now I can show you that collection. First up, I got these pop-up flag packs because I have some. But I got these because they are in the little container thing. 
and they were 75 cents and Couture Creations sell some to go on their foils so I thought I could stick this in the box with my foils or my GoPresson foil and I'd be able to just pull them off as I need them and they wouldn't get stuck to everything. I grabbed the Sugar Bell glitter die cuts. I wasn't going to, but there are 34 pieces, which I thought was pretty good value considering they are on really decent weight cardstock. And we've got little eggs. We have butterflies and it has a bunch of pieces that pop out, which I will do at a later date. So there's two of them. Fun times. These have lots of bits that haven't been popped out yet. So this is a picture. Giant mixer cupcake a little butterfly leaves and smaller leaves and this has a little bit that punches out and you could probably use that as a little leaf as well bigger leaf wow all these sparkles cake stand happy heart a rolling pin more leaves spatula more leaves a little flower so sweet middle pops out again when i'm going to use them i'll pop out the bits that need to be popped out celebrate remember grandma a little egg tray there's another little egg Another little flower. This one says, so sweet. That one's the big flower. Big doily there, which needs all the bits punched out. Sifter, hugs and kisses. Smaller one of those flowers. Some more leaves, little jug, and another flower. They were $3 and you get all of them. And considering for a cardstock piece of 12 by 12, it's $3. The amount of pieces in that, I think, work out to close to two pieces. So I didn't think that was too bad of a price. And they are quite large die cuts. So I grabbed them to go with my sugar bell. And then I got the Mimosa Sunday collection. Now, all I have seen at our reject shops at the moment, I haven't seen the sticker book. All I have seen are stamps, and I got these because I thought they would also work really well with the Elizabeth Crafts stamps that I got in my Hedgehog Hollow box a few months ago, because they're cute and they're only $2.50. Then I got the Mimosa Sunday journaling spots. I don't think we're getting journaling cards anymore, unfortunately, which makes me sad because I really, really liked them. The Mimosa Sunday Puffy Motif stickers. Looking so pretty and yay. Yes. Ooh la la. Pop. And then lots of cute little puffy stickers. They're not super puffy, so that's good. The die cuts and the paper pad. So we'll have a look at the paper pad first. We have this beautiful watercolory floral. Gold foiled honeycomb. Beautiful purple floral. Fruit. Gold crowns. Butterflies. Paint swipes. Uh, plain pink. Leaves fruit and flowers, a pink floral. Then we have this limey green. It's almost a cross between lime green and mustard. I do not know how to describe that color. And then it has the gold swipes on it. We have the corner floral with bees, spots, bees and florals. This is that pink page again, only this time it has a very faint checkbox background. Triangles on blue. There's our mimosas. <laughs> This weird stripey one. There's always got to be one. And then purple tone on tone spots. And back to the pretty floral again. Do the journaling spots. There are 29 journaling spots. And these have the gold foil. We have a mimosa. Made my day. A set tape. A large blank scallop spot. Bright like glitter and bubbly like champagne. Floral bee spot. Uh, irregular circle, some tags, Sunday brunch, date, wear, guests, menu. So many reasons to celebrate with the balloon. Sweet. A little stripy square with a flower. Polaroid type frame that says gorgeous. Got some tickets. Big balloon. Recipe card that says date. Honeycomb hexagon. A little rectangle. Arrow. A ticket. Then we have some tabs. Notable. Memorable. Lovable. Another irregular circle. Binder. And this month I almost didn't get them because they were three dollars and for an extra dollar you can get the cardstock die cuts and there's 164 pieces in them but I ended up caving and getting them to see what they were like and they're not too bad I don't mind them and every single one of them had gold foil as well okay here we go through the die cuts this one has 164 pieces we have some crowns and some croissants mason jar with flowers pop a little pink birdie, some jugs of mimosa, I guess. The Weekenders here, Body Dog. This is the life. Lots of gold foiling in here as well. Bobby pins, hands with heart in the middle, presents, leaves, some beehives, and that weird green colour again. <laughs> Fabulous, some lipsticks. 
champagne, lots of words in this one, beautiful, celebrate, everyday, pop, lazy Sunday, shopping bag, and that middle bit there pops out, orange slices, champagne bottles that say bubbles, bouquets, teacup, and again that little bit in there pops out, brunch money, stack of pancakes, you make any day beautiful, birds, happy, two slightly different colours of champagne glasses, pink and orange, free drink ticket, more leaves, free hugs, oranges, avocado and egg toast today, so many reasons to smile, bring out the bubbles, a coffee infuser, leaves, important Sunday yay, hearts, and you've got two pieces to that, so you've got the outline and the inside. No one else like you. A clock. Gummy bears. <laughs> more hearts. More fruit. You're a peach. Cheery. Fizz. Toaster. Memories. Amazing. Happiness. Some butterflies. Arrows. Bees in different sizes. More hearts. More gummy bears. So we've got that weird green colour. Peachy colour. Pink. Pink butterflies. Queen bee, arrows, hello happiness, fantastic, keys, typewriter, some glasses and more arrows, lots of bobby pins and then we have these pretty dresses. That is the Mimosa Sunday collection and I am thinking that a lot of it would work really well also with the Sugar Bell collection which is also food based. You could mix and match some bits from those collections, especially the pinker ones in here. Both very beautiful collections. I hope you enjoyed this look at my haul from a few different places and the Mimosa Sunday collection. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.